Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, everybody. So I'm currently here at the Still Shrine of Miriam because if you actually touch the teleport stone here on the south end of the Ward of Measure on the Still Shrine of Miriam, once you have the Stone of the Condemned there, which you get in Mount Omisos, all you need to do is come here, touch it, and then use the Stone of the Condemned there. And what's going to happen is that you'll be warped to a location that is um, going to lead us to yet another Esper. Now I'm trying to collect Espers because by this point I'm trying to get to the place that um, will allow us to go to Zodiac. Not exactly to get Zodiac yet, but it's more so so I can just start grinding, you know? Because grinding will be very important. Just saying, but it will. As far as Espers go, there are still four left, I believe. There's Aromas, Exodus, Ultima, and Zodiac. So in this battle with Zeromas, magics, or magic I should say, is disabled. You cannot use magic, so only pure attacks. If my HP starts to get low, I need to think of an alternative. Basically, explosions will be the way to go. What the hell just happened? Oh, shoot. What the hell is all this? Okay. Um, Explosion? Explosion? Explosion. Now, explosions. Oh shit, they're actually pretty shitty though. Honestly, they're pretty shitty. Um. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be super difficult, but. It can be a little bit of a problem. Um. It's cause. Well. Not really. Explosion. Canelo. I mean, explosions is pretty much the only thing I can do though. That's the thing, you know? Everybody else just needs to attack. Raider Bear, I don't know what that is. Please don't tell me you're immune. Any time would probably be best to use the Mega Elixir. Okay. I'll just be offensive, hurry up. Freaking stupid enemies, man. Oh, no. Stop it! I don't want to leave them there because they're annoying with static elements. So it doesn't matter how weak an enemy is. If it. Wait. Now, if it, um, causes status ailments, it's still gonna be annoying, because you can't essentially do anything about it, you know? Okay, that's gonna be wrong. These elixirs, though. Wait. Oh my god. Go, hurry up. Attack, attack. Gotta get rid of it. Oh my god, stop it. You know what I can do, though? I can grab them with, like, chains. Like, I can start grabbing the blue, and because it's a high chain, it might actually give me health. I don't know. I very well could. Okay. No! I'm not the one HP. Are you kidding me right now? What? Did that really just happen? Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice chain there. Yeah, I mean, any battle without the use of magic, and any battle without the use of attack can be hard. But without the use of attack is much, much harder. Without the use of magic, it's hard, but doable. This is that stupid chaos battle, man, with no attack. That really threw me off guard, like, so much. So that gives us, um, 10 espers, I think. Because now it just leaves Exodus, and then Ultima, that's 12, and then 13 is Zodiac, the final esper. Oh my god. Wait, is this actually part of... It is. Did I explore the whole thing, though? Also, are there any chests here? I don't see any. Alright, so we can just leave now and get the hell out of here. Touch the device. So the next thing to do is to go and get Exodus. So that's gonna be in the Monster and High Waste. Wait, why am I over here? What? No, 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 that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. 
This should be taking me somewhere else. There we go. Oh god, what the hell is this? Okay. But yeah, so as I was saying, um, I guess we're going for Exodus and then maybe possibly Ultima this video as well. I'm not entirely sure. It just kind of depends on what happens. It's just that the Ultima battle can be particularly tricky because it shifts from one form to another. Not, not the enemy itself, more so the scene of the battle. From like a certain... Uh, what's the word? I cannot think of the word right now. I seriously can't. Okay, Monster and High Waste. Let's do this. Alright, so let's see. Um... Okay, so this Caravanner... Because the path of this mountain there to choke with an axe is quite handy too. Okay, cool. Northeast of the mountain. Um, and then the other thing I need to... person I need to talk to would be this person? The learned man. Sure, I'll listen. I'm just gonna mash this, but I, I don't know if I'm with you. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's see. What I need to do... Um... It's touch. Okay, because there's gonna be a lot of shrines everywhere. And it's actually kind of annoying. Let's see. What is this one? Okay, that one's not touchable. I need to touch the. Uh... Should be this way then. Shrine of the South Wind. I'm gonna touch it. Okay, so that's going to make some vines go up, as you can see. Now what I need to do is go to the Rays of Ashen Light, I think. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, now, in what part am I at? Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Okay, so here's one. So I'm going to ride this Chocobo. So what I need to do is right at south into the, um, what's it called, Imperion Way or something like that? I don't even know. Okay, wait, let me take a look at this. Yeah, right there. The Imperion Way, so let's go there first. Okay. And then what I need to do, whoop, wrong button. Uh, let's see. It should be over here. Yeah, this one, okay. So right here, and then if I actually look at the map more carefully, it should be right over, um... No, actually, let's just keep going. Should be okay. There should be like a little grassy chocobo area over here. Yeah, this part. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I'm... Okay, um... One sec there. Uh, if I keep going west, okay, I see. But I, I want to see what's up here, though. Or at least I want to explore it. Okay, I just leads to a freaking chest. I don't really care for that yet. So I'm just gonna go around to the west side of the babbling veil. Um, yeah, let's dismount. Okay, and then I'm going to touch this, Turtle Shell Choker, cool, and this right here is the Shrine of the West Wind, okay, let's touch it, and that raises some more, now I need to come over here, knock this rock over to make a shortcut back to this part, perfect. Okay. Now the Shrine of the Northwest Wind, which is going to be... It's not that one. 
but it's, uh, it's not over there either. Wait, which, which one is a northwest wind? Oh, this one. Okay. So I do need to touch this one. And if I did all this correct, it should lead, or it should, I should say, it should be able to lead me over there, right? I mean, I think. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully so, you know? Okay, let me go back. Because I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Wait, that's the wrong way. How do I... Oh, I'm being a dumbass. Okay, I need to go down like this. Wait, no, I need to... Damn it! Over there. There we go. Okay, so do that. And then go around. Make a left here. And then the next section... Whoa. Oh. Really weak enemies. Kill them all. Get them all out of the way. There's a spell note. Okay. Yeah, so it gives me access to that. Before I go over there, as always, let's buff up. It always takes a little while not to do all this, but it's worth it. It's really worth it, though. Okay, and finally... Go ahead and recast it on Ash. Alright, perfect, let's go. So this boss right here is known as Exodus. Exodus to Justice. So items do not work. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Let's go. This guy has less HP than Zeromas. He actually shouldn't be tough. I don't think it's going to be difficult. Because there's nothing about this guy that's remotely, like, crazy. Yeah, he's super simple. Because you're expecting to fight this guy a little bit earlier in the game, but I waited a little bit too much, I would say. See? That was really simple, right? Super simple. Well, there's a shot of them. That gives us yet another Esper. the victory song of course that leaves only two espers in the game left for us only two between the esper exodus to judge cell aside from espers i mean we have a couple other bosses to take care of and aside from the hunts we also have the hellworm i mean yasma is an elite mark of course and there's omega 13 we also have phoenix to defeat I haven't actually talked about Phoenix and all the stuff we need to do in the Pharaohs yet again. But there is a lot to do. <laughs> in general, you know? Okay, let me check if there's any... Any stuff. No items, anyway? Now, if you actually leave and go back, I think it triggers, like, a worm-like enemy to appear here. Let's see. Yep. This guy. He's very weak by this point in the game, but might as well add him to the bestiary, right? There we go. Ashworm. Alright, so let's see. Um, it's gonna go around in a loop. I'm just gonna run through these battles because screw it. Okay, perfect. So 
So yeah, I mean, maybe I should go to Ultima, right? Maybe I should. It's honestly not that, like, time-consuming to go to Ultima. I mean, maybe it could be a little bit, but I'm gonna meet you all the way at the Great Crystal. So the easiest way is to go to Jiruvagan, and then from there, we will see. Okay, so here I am at this place where we defeated, uh, what's his name? Tyrant or something? Basically, once you beat him up, you get taken to the Great Crystal. So the Great Crystal, oh boy. So let's see, I'm here in Waystone 8. So I'm going to be reading the, like the little guide that actually says here to kind of help me out here, or else if I don't, I'm going to like just do so badly. So it says, begin at Waystone 8 and trek up to the Scorpio Gate. Okay, what the hell is this? That's Gate Scorpio, but that's not what it's talking about. The Gate's Stone. So that would be this way. Wait, that's down. One sec. This is up, okay. Okay, I can disable the map here, by the way, because that's going to be blocking me. And it's useless, as you can see. Look at that, see? Yeah, and I think every single time that you, like, come here again, you have to, like, restart. What the hell is that? Mom bomb? What the fuck is shit? Or did I? Maybe I did. I don't know where they came from, but they're dead. Okay. So I'm touching that, and I need to go back, right? I'm pretty sure I need to go back. Wait, hit the switch and go back down, yeah. Then turn right and head up to Waystone 9. Okay. Go this way. Pass Waystone 10. Okay, but I need to go to Waystone 9 first. Hold on. I'm jumping ahead a little bit too much. Okay. Next one says, pass Waystone 10, taking either the left or right path on the opposite side. There's only one way to go. It's this way. Okay. Um, it says either left or right. So I can just take either? Okay. To reach the Sagittarius Gatestone. Return to Sagittarius Gates 1 and 2. Okay. Wait a minute. There are so many of these shits here. Also, these things are like ridiculously high levels. Like, do you see this? And they're only giving me 800 experience? Oh, wait, these are higher levels. Okay, these are giving me 1800. Okay, that's a. Oh, shit. Okay, wait a minute. These are tougher. Oh crap. Run! Okay, attack him, attack him, attack him. Hurry up. Oh boy, okay. Okay, let's see. There's only one pathway to go after this way. Yeah, that was a little bit scary right there. Okay, so there should be the... Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? More? Ugh. These are kind of tough. It's a lot of them. Here we go. Be aggressive, be aggressive. Kill one ASAP. Shoot. That's not good. Heal, heal up, heal up, heal up. Wait, did one of them explode? At the same time? I mean, maybe. It's also cool coming here, because I could get some uh, nice experience as well, you know? Okay, so I'm touching that. Um, Let's see. Return to... You can go either direction, but... But for purposes of this walkthrough, choose gate 1, which leads to Waystone 11. Okay. Oh wait, the timer is only- oh shoot, I need to hurry up. I'm gonna run. Because I only have a very limited time, as you can see. I need to get the hell out of here. Wait, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh wait, am I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't know which way it came from. I think I got lost. Wait, but they were already closed. What? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. D did wasn't it closed when I got here? Maybe it wasn't. I'm being stupid. Okay, just just run. Okay, so I need to- oh my god, he spawned again. The one time where you don't want enemies to respawn, they respawn. 
God damn it. Okay, hurry up. What are you doing, you dumb AI? Shit. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Oh boy. Oh boy. So much destruction. Okay, let's... Oh, God damn it. Okay. Heal up again. Okay. So what is this again? See, I totally did this, didn't I? Okay, I touched it. Now we're gonna run. But the thing is, last time it was, like, still there. When I got there. I mean, I must have looked at the wrong path then. That's what I'm guessing I did. No way, but it's still here. Oh, okay, there we go. Shit, are you kidding me right now? Hurry up. God damn it. 3,800 experience. Jesus Christ. Okay, and then you... Have remedy lore. Wait, no, you don't. Nobody here has this. God damn it, I hate doing this so much. This is the bullshit. Oh, I, I wish every job in the game had remedy lore 3. God damn it. I mean, I. Whatever. Because to me, that doesn't really dictate, like, I don't know, like anything about any job. It's not really like it's job specific, it looks more so universal. What? What? What the hell was that? Seriously, what was that? Okay, are you kidding me again? Oh my god. Oh my god. These little pieces of shit. Dude, they're all just self-destructing. What kind of... Oh. Wait, whoa, 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 what? No, 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 no. You were almost. That is BS. Don't even give me that. Don't even. You were almost dead. How did you just heal like 5,000 HP out of nowhere? God damn it. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Should I, like, cut and take a five-minute break or something? I'm about to go rampage mode right now. Like, what the heck is going on here, people? My god, though. Okay, hurry up. Let's touch it. Touch the device. Take the rising path to the Gemini Gate Stone. Okay, which would be... That's not rising. This one's rising. Okay. Flip the switch and take the next rising path. Okay, let's not move forward anymore, because if we do, I'm just going to trigger something else. These are giving me 2400 experience. It's crazy. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 you got to keep him there. He's in doom. See, it's just, I find it complete bullshit you have to change party members just to do a remedy and then go back. And just to part that, it's like, what the hell kind of gameplay is this? It's so weird, just, just the fact that not everybody has Remedy Lord 3. And that's what I'm just like, oh my god, what, another one? It divided. It divided. Is it dividing even more? Like, can you like just please attack? 
some just attack him, please. Thank you. I mean, I did just get a shitload of experience. So it keeps using the vibe. Seems to be a little good. I mean, it's a great way to farm experience, that's for sure. And another one just spawned. I believe they're infinite, so I need to get the hell out of here. Now. Okay, I can't even touch this. Okay, touch the device. There's a timer. I need to go. No, I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. Let's just switch. Bypass Gemini Gate on one on the right. Oh, freaking. What is this? What is this? What? How? Why is everything killing me? Oh my god. What is this? No, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Let me read this again. Take the rising path of Gemini Gate Stone, flip the switch, and take the next rising path. Bypass Gemini, get one of the riding and continue to Gemini Gate 2. I don't know. This has to continue. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Oh, oh, it's inflicting instant death, I think. Okay, what is this? Okay. Ignore it, keep going. Follow either of the gateless paths beyond... Oh, shit. Yep. Go. I might not make this. That might be it, that might be it. Okay, what the hell is that? That is an ashworm. That is a much stronger ashworm, I should say. I'm gonna stand on this side. Okay, we're gonna hold it. Nope. Stand on this side. Okay, it's dead. My god. Okay. Let's get Leo. Um. What the hell? Okay, so it says either of the gateless paths, which would be either of these two. Apparently, to waste on 15 and use a device. Oh great, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? I just keep seeing new lethal enemies every freaking place. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep going now. This should be waste on 15 then. Yes. Perfect. Follow the center path from Waystone 16 up to the Libra Gate Stone. Okay. Use the switch then backtrack to Waystone 16. Okay, so that's 16. Wait, it says follow the center path. What's this one? Okay. What is this? Forbidden. 2100 experience. That level, man. What they're at. Okay. Touch the device. Run back. So that says the right path to gate Libra 1, deactivate and then continue up. Now when it says the right path, I don't know what it means. If it's saying right from my perspective or right from the teleport uh, crystal's perspective. I don't know. I think it's right... Okay, that's a problem. I might not make it. Okay, run, 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 run. So it's not that one, but it's this one, man. No, I should be able to make it. I mean, I'm gonna die with Doom, but whatever. Okay, I need to touch the gate first. Hold on. Okay. Now I can fight. Oh, uh, she's probably about to die. Actually, no, not yet. Okay. Wow. Wow, okay. Um... That... Switch to you, use a remedy on Pinello. And then use a remedy on Ash. Hurry up! God damn it. Okay.
Take the rising path on the left at the next platform to the Capricorn Gate Stone. Wait, did I even go the right way? I think so. Okay, take the rising path on the left on the left at the next platform to the Capricorn Gate Stone. Oh my god, another one of these. I'm gonna stand on the back. So it doesn't hit everybody, you know? It keeps healing itself. Okay. Uh, gold needle. Okay, next up is this one. Forbiddance. Holy shit. I'm honestly too lazy. I get so lazy to do this, but god damn it. Okay, Princess Kiss on Ash, hurry up. Oh, great, and of course now she's confused. Okay, get rid of that stupid enemy. Come on, kill it. Alright, so now it's, it's this. Flip the switch and backtrack down. Then go right to return to Waystone 16. Okay. Then go right, it says. Okay. It's gonna run right through you. Keep going. Okay, so that's Waystone 16, and it says... Uh... Use the sinking path on the opposite side to find Gate Capricorn 1 and the Virgo Path Stone. Should be this one. Because that's where I saw the other gate, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this one. Okay, so touch that. There we go. And that- whoa! Oh, more of these. Nope! Status elements, please! God damn it! Ugh. Freaking pure nightmare here, man. Oh, I can't even. Oh, what? No, get away from me. Jeez, man. I swear, man, every single enemy you fight here will give you a status ailment in this game. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here's the Virgo Stone. Uh, let's see. Okay. Toss the, toss the switch on the stone and backtrack to Waystone 16 again. Use the center path to go to the next platform. Okay. Go this time to center path, apparently. This one. Then take the left or right path to reach... Okay. Wait. One or two pass through the gate and go to Waystone 17 and reach the last area. Okay. Whew. Man. Man, man. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what that is. Just to be sure. It might have some pretty lethal physical attacks. Here we go. Oh wait, bravery as well? Cool. Let's go. Oh, it's just a stronger Jurovaganus. Are you kidding me? Hopefully that counted that I got the experience before she died, because if I... Fucking god, okay, so much death and bullshit. Death and status elements here and everywhere. Let me guess, you're all gonna do status elements on me, right? I'm just gonna take a guess. I'm going to assume so. Wow. Wow. I am very shocked. Okay. Well then, 
There should be a safe crystal here somewhere. After I pass the stupid forbiddings. Thank you. I was like, please just attack me. I don't even want to get any more fucking items anymore. I think I'm over it. Okay, so like, what the hell is going on here? Are there like infinite enemies? I mean, that's good and it's also bad. I'm just saying. It's both good and bad. But it seems that there might be infinite enemies here. I mean, you can build a very deadly chain here. Just saying. Okay, you know what? I'm out of here. The only reason why is because I'm blinded. If I was not blinded, I would totally keep attacking. Hey, do I want to fight some more? Now that I got my blind gone? Come on. Let's fight. Don't you dare confuse... Well, thank you for attacking Baltier. I mean, I appreciate that. Now, I mean, I'm still blinded, but... Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm done. For now. Obviously, I can't find Ultima in this episode. Wow. So that center path over there leads to Ultima, just saying. Those two other ones, I have no idea. But here's a safe crystal, and I'm gonna use it, and just... Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, so, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, if you enjoyed this episode, this weird episode, in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.